Hey, it's Nicholas Wilton at art to life I had a uh, kind of uh, realization um, working on this picture, and I thought I'd share it with you. It um, took me a while to figure out, actually. So what was going on here is I have these um, kind of odd-shaped things here, these, these, this one, this one, this, this one here. And these are, I sort of like these kind of big grounded shapes, and I'm going to have all these things floating around it. And I had these pretty dark, so they're fairly contrasting. So the values of them are fairly noticeable um, because there's contrast. We notice contrast. We notice the difference between light and dark. And they're actually noticeable also because um, they're pretty big. They're the biggest thing. Um, I hadn't painted this yet, but these are the biggest things on here compared to these smaller things. And I thought, that's kind of cool, I have these big things and all these little things floating around. And then I also had painted them this sort of real saturated blue, which I love this blue color. And I just kept looking at it and looking at it, and there was just something that was, it just wasn't working. And the reason it wasn't working was because what I realized was that, you know, when you have... Um, something that's big, the biggest thing on your picture, you're going to notice it. It's really noticeable because it's the biggest thing. But if you also make it the darkest thing, then it's like you're making it even more noticeable. And then if you make it the brightest color, really saturated color, then it's even more noticeable. And you're just, you're just shoveling on contrasts of differences that make it so you can't really enjoy the rest of the work. It's like, you know, it's like telling a joke and like kicking someone to, to make them laugh at the punchline. It's like, it, it can be more subtle. Like you don't have to like yell it at the person. You don't have to like hit them over the head. So what I did is I realized, and these were all blue before, and I just painted this one blue again. I ended up getting rid of the color um, on these. And as soon as I did, as soon as I took the color away, then the color and the rest of the picture started working better because it was like finally the bully in the room is left and the color on the rest of the painting um, starts to work. Like you really start noticing, look how beautiful this color looks down here, you know, and maybe these could even get a little bit lighter. But do you see how that kind of works? It's like, sure, this is big and it's kind of dark, but these are really saturated. So now they're equal in a way, like you can enjoy looking at these and you, I can look over here. I mean, this is more dominant, but it's not like super dominant. So it's just something to remember to like, Think about those differences to not pile them all up. And especially when you get something of scale, like, you know, have you ever noticed when you buy a paint chip, um, you know, from the art store and it's like from the paint store for your home and it's like, oh, this, I want a really beautiful green. It looks so good small. And then you paint your bathroom wall with it or your, and it's just way too green. Like a chip that looks beautiful green, um, probably as a small little chip looks really muted and dull but when you paint it on your living room it's almost too much because the scale is so big so it's just something to be thinking about um, this is something that catches me all the time and it's kind of an interesting workaround so i don't know if that makes sense um, but i think uh, this is something that i'm catching myself doing all the time and i just thought i would uh, share that with you guys i think this is a really cool um, way to think about it, a way to get your eye to move all around the picture and keep it kind of more even. Anyway, uh, please leave a comment below. And, uh, you know, if you think some of these can, ideas can be helpful for other people you know, um, please forward this on. Uh, that's, that's sort of how, um, you know, Art to Life is kind of getting around and um, we're, we're expanding the reach to this community. So, again, thanks a lot and hope you enjoy your Sunday painting. Okay, bye.